Thank you, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Oakland, California. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Carolina Panthers and the Oakland Raiders. Two clubs here, each looking to rebound from a week one loss as we're underway on EA Sports. Here's Thompson to return it. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at him turn. And he's going to wind up bringing this one inside the 45-yard line. Well, that return gives him a golden opportunity to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? for nearby Stanford, Christian McCaffrey. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, McCaffrey will fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. 
Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. They don't want to waste this outstanding field position on this opening drive as they come up on third down. They'll look to throw here. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. And that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Well, that opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. So the missed 56 yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. Now a first carry for Latavius Murray. And some room to work. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Try the ground game here with the running back. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, usually you don't think of the cornerback coming in for a no-gain play, but that's what we had there. Nice tackle. Yeah, and how about the range, too? Coming from the outside part of the play, moving his way into the inside and making that play happen. No gain for the offense. Big play for the defense. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. Now let's go. 319. 319. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39 yard line. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Tight. Tight right. All right, here we go. Three, nine, three. Back to throw. Cohen. Now they go screen. It's complete. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. To throw on second down, Cohen. Play with a catch right side. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare Let's say go. that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. 
The kick by Pinheiro is good. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today, Paul. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails... Less of a field goal attempt for him. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. Detroit! Detroit! First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where... Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. And incomplete, an excellent play downfield. Should have been picked off, really. But second down instead. And this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. Looking to throw. He's airing it out for Williams. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. That makes him now 0 for 2 here in the first quarter on third down conversions. And now they'll look to their defense because they need them to step up so they don't fall further behind here in the early going. This is fielded at the 7. Nearly broke that one. As it stands, though, a heck of a 36-yard run back. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. This is time, this end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Watch him now, Barney, Barney! And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Look three, look three. Ah! Looking to throw. Cohen. Eluding the pressure right. They find some open field here. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, 
All it does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football. And they've got it here with a first down. Tanked up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped. But I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. They will come up on a first and five following the encroachment penalty. from the gun. Cohen. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 19 down to the 19. And it's a first down. If there was one area that the coach emphasized in our pregame meeting, it was red zone offense. And a sense I got from it, and I think you did as well, they weren't real happy with how they were executing previously. So they put a lot of time and effort into it because getting points is paramount. Doesn't matter what you do otherwise, don't leave the red zone without putting points on the board. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. to the first and goal. So many teams are about to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Back to throw now on second and ten. Throw for his running back, and he's got him complete. And now they're inside the ten as he's brought down at the nine. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. But it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. From the gun on third down. Cohen. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Cody Ely. He's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6-0, so field goals, probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. Carolina getting set to take the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. 
keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. A big play there from McCaffrey. 47 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, Hill. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside of the 20-yard line. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Tyrell Williams, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Panthers have tied this game up. They can take the lead with the extra point. Gano out to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, Robert, they're thinking, Robert. let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked Patrick. that one through. I don't know about that. Too bad. I don't know about that. Bad. <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> Over the middle complete. That's Fitzgerald. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. A big play there. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Raiders are able to strike quickly for six. Pardon me, you know the real key is to stopping a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to tackle as soon as a guy catches the football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big-time stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things in. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he'll push forward for about four up to the 23. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. They'll set up a throw. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw now on first down. In a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he takes this one back into the end zone and the Raider defense delivers a score. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage and it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, 
that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went the other direction. Excellent blocking and picked up a touchdown. This is taken about seven yards deep. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. And fresh off the pick six, they've got to forget about that quickly. In this Detroit! case now, Detroit! the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. All comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I, I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. It's deep in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Two minutes remain here in the first half. We'll come back to Oakland after this. Here's second and seven now from the 28. the gun they'll look to throw his throw incomplete he was looking for the connection with Devin Funches and it's third down well nearly another interception there that would have been two drives in a row with a pick he's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying interestingly that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive but fell incomplete incomplete he had his hands on it but couldn't pick it but it's now fourth down my man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, it really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. This is taken at the 15. It gets away from one. 12 yards on the return that time. And out will come the offense as they take over. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It yeah. was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Garcia. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Four down, four down. Check. Four down, four down. Watch it now, Barney. Barney. Watch twist. Watch twist. Watch. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first Let's down, go. keep the Green. sticks moving. On first down, Cohen. It's caught by Bryant. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. He got 29 yards that time. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. Here we go now. Green three. Throwing on first down. Cohen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. The Raiders on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and two. Now let's go. Blue Raiders. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll get him down right around the 16. He needed two. He got one. And that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. A 33-yarder from the left hash. The kick by Pinheiro is good. 
So we've reached halftime here in Oakland with the Raiders on top. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Gano out to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Out comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? An excellent pickup of 34 yards. We just saw him hit a big play there on a deep post. And most of the time, the post isn't available because you usually have defenders in the middle of the field. But if you throw enough curls and crossing routes and underneath routes, <laughs> I know from experience, they get tired of watching those balls get caught. They start to creep up a little bit, and that's when you can hit a big over the top. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Over, 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 over! Now they try the right side here. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll bring up a third down. From the gun, Cohen. And he's got Fitzgerald. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. As his guys are in for six. And the Raiders add on to their lead. The point after is good. And that pushes the lead up to 23. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. He hurdles him. Should get a gold medal for that one. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Panthers' offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Back to throw here. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And a nice gain of 21 yards. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your Detroit! best guys. Detroit! And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. They go play action here on first down. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 47. Hurry up, here we go. 319! 319! Now back to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. 
And he's getting a man on the crossing ramp. That's more. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 23 yards on the play. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's got some space here. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game, loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Buying time to his left. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. They'll set up to throw. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Tyrell Williams with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. The Panther offense staying put. They'll go for two. Back to throw. That is incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. Right, and when now, you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. On first and 10, Cohen flushed out right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Coney Ely in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Set, move, Operating from the gun, Cohen. He sets to fire deep. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield, who knows how to get the ball Detroit, into the end Detroit. zone, you throw it up and give him every opportunity, even though that one fell incomplete. Yeah, he's already been in the end zone multiple times. Tried to target him again deep there. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. Cody Ely getting him once again. His third sack of the afternoon. And he's able to get it out of there, and this is a pretty good kick. Carolina getting set to take the field. So still backed up, but the situation not as dire Detroit, now. First Detroit. and 10 at the 14. They'll look to throw here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get out to the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. They're going to look to throw. Throw right side complete to Williams. And he's able to get this one up to the eight-yard line this time. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down.
This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. All right, now, lucky 56. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Obi Malafonwu. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find the spot. And now they're set up Let's inside go. the red zone Green for their offense. Green, Green. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now now they'll run it on the toss and they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13 in on the tackle there Luke Keekley. when we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense he quarterbacks that defense and at times will actually make checks just like a quarterback would on offense to get him into the right defense. They definitely were on that play. How about that finish? Holding that to a minimal game. Back now in the East Bay. It's the Raiders with the lead and the football here as we get ready to start quarter number four. Try and run for it on first and goal. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, Let's nine, go. whatever it's Green, going to take. Nine. Puts a little bit Green, more pressure on your big offensive line. They get it to him running left. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Now they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? to throw. Cohen in trouble and he'll go down back at the 12. Coney Ely. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. So they'll turn to the kicker again. He's been a busy man thus far. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that will push this lead up to 20 now. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And the Panthers coming out now. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. They want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. This one complete to Devin Funches. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down.
So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And they can't bring him down. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. Oh, and now he pulls it over. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A very solid gain of 27. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Set, He'll look to throw. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. In for the score. And the Panthers are able to cut into this lead. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack on the previous play, that just hurts those guys because they never want to see their guy get hit. Gano out to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this well, league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. This is Murray. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, this is my theme of Bagel, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Play fake here on first down. Airing this one out for Fitzgerald. It's caught inside the 25. A big play that time for the Raiders. 44 yards. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball Never. and run the clock Never. out. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Looking to throw. Cohen finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a 9-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. Looking to throw on second down. Cole. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Set! 319! 319! 
They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that will swell the lead to 16. So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often. But you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch-counterpunch, punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you think to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll I see. love it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. All right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. They'll drop the throw. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Carl Joseph. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. Well, you start to feel sorry now for the young man throwing the football. This is really turning into a disaster. Listen, it's baptism. All right, this is almost a rite of passage. This young in the league, go back and find a Hall of Fame quarterback and check their records for their first two years, especially if they started the bulk of the games. I bet you'll find double-digit interceptions on just about every one of them. They have to learn as they go along. That's fielded in the end zone. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Even after that big-time return, it's not looking great for them today. But if nothing else, even if the miracle doesn't happen, they can turn to this play and say, hey, we can move forward. Maybe it's a building block for the rest of the season. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and 10. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. He's going to let it fly. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the All deep now, ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Right, now, Maybe you can expect six. more passes like, like that downfield. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they have the flat just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it. What people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. 
Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Back to throw now on second and 10. He's going to let it fly, and he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on third down. Got to be wary of throwing an interception here because the defense knows they're going to get tested deep. That's why they're going to put a couple of extra guys back there to try and prevent that. Yeah, late in the fourth quarter here, trying to preserve the lead. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And a shot taken on third down, unsuccessful. Fourth down now. Try to get it all back with one big shot right there, but even if successful... That doesn't get them all the way back to where they need to be. Can't totally abandon throwing the ball underneath as well. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Gone, 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 gone. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's going to let that his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off down near the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. And now they face a second and six after the penalty. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense.